The Prime Minister says controversial changes to religious and sex discrimination reforms will be subject to bipartisan approval. Anthony Albanese told Caucus yesterday he would not proceed with the legislation without support from the opposition. The legislation would allow religious learning institutions to continue hiring staff based on their faith, but would remove the rights of schools to discriminate against students. We determined as a matter of principle, something that we hold very dear, that we support the removal or the extension of any discrimination legislation to cover uh, discrimination on the basis of religion or on the basis of faith, uh, but we don't believe that should be at a cost of increasing discrimination against other groups. The government has not made the draft legislation public and the opposition leader says he'll withhold his support for the changes until he's seen the details. The opposition claims the PM is backtracking on a pre-election promise to religious leaders as well. Anthony Albanese made a promise, this is another broken promise, it's another lie, about presenting legislation on this subject, on religious freedom, to the parliament and the Australian people. We would consider this in any normal way, but why would we avoid the scrutiny, for example, of a Senate committee? Why would it not go through the normal processes?